Hi, this is a short introduction, a short conceptual introduction to Grasshopper and to some extent Python um, and other forms of computation oriented uh, 3D modeling software. So what is Grasshopper or what is coding and scripting? Um, in certain ways, they're computerized and programmatic ways to work with geometry and data. Um, and they're more than automation uh, in the way that a computer is more than a glorified calculator. Um, these tools enable you to do new things that weren't possible. And you know there are a lot of things you can do. They're not just formal. You can create new forms. You can analyze data. You can control physical hardware, solve spatial problems, even work with representation. Now, I'm going to show you this idea of an idea of pseudocode, uh, which is a concept that is very powerful and will stick with you for a long time um, as a helpful framework to think about what uh, coding and processing and Grasshopper and Python and all these other ways to work with information is. So in Rhino, you already work with uh, these kind of processes. Um, let's say you want to make a cylinder. Uh, you would create perhaps a circle, and then you extrude it. Um, and then you have a cylinder. And maybe you want to make a box you know, with a box command, and then you move it closer. And then you Boolean them together. Now, these operations are they're contingent on each other, and you've just done a series of steps that gave you this final result. And if you kind of diagram it out on a conceptual level, I drew a polyline, or in, some, in this case, a circle. I extruded it. I capped it. That was already done for me. And then I took uh, existing geometry, or let's say I made a box. And I Booleaned it together, and it gave me the final result. Now, I'm using this interface of Grasshopper to show you what's going on, but it's pretty self-explanatory. This thing leads to this thing, and this thing leads to this thing, um, and so on. And that's, in some ways, what Grasshopper and Python and all these other coding platforms let you do. They let you create these processes that chain into each other. Um, and in some sense, you do this all the time. Uh, you know, you can, uh, what you do is you already maybe create some geometry in Rhino. You create a form, and then you make 2D it. And then you change the line weights in Illustrator, you do something in Photoshop, and then you lay out on InDesign. You know, there are always already these processes that you engage with. And you know, Grasshopper can help you do certain things within um, Rhino, such as grabbing geometry, creating a form, analyzing it, you know, uh, creating another end result, maybe together with the form that you've created. Uh, Python is kind of similar, um, except, you know, Grasshopper has this kind of visual way of diagramming things out. Python is text-based, um, like many other kind of programming languages. So for example, if I wanted to do agent-based simulation, I would create some agents, run the agents, modify the geometry that's been created by the agents, and output it out. Um, and Python is a text-based way and a more kind of logical, rule-based way in some ways uh, to operate and work with these processes. Um, Python and Grasshopper, in some sense, have a lot of overlap. They're both computational ways. They're both rule-based. You know, they have a lot of stuff behind them. But Grasshopper is, in some ways, like the gateway drug to Python. And this using Python and Grasshopper together is a kind of you know gateway drug to uh, the rest of computation, um, which is actually very exciting and very interesting and has a lot of possibilities. So uh, to go on to Grasshopper, um, you can follow. The, uh, the next video, which will actually go into the specifics of the Grasshopper user interface. Um, or you can continue on to the Python introduction, which would run through the basics of scripting and uh, programming logic.